All right, we recognize our sequence as linear, y equals mx plus b, i is to the first power, so we're good to use our formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence as the average of the first and the last terms times how many terms we have. So to get our first term, uh, in our formula, this just means that our first term, and that just means our last term. So in this case, our first term, they actually want us to start off with a 2. So my first term is going to be always whatever I get when I plug in that bottom. So in this case, when I plug in a 2, I get 0.8 times 2 minus 6.3, and my calculator told me that that's going to be negative 4.7. And then my last term is just whatever I get when I plug in the top. So if I plug in a 10 for the i, I get uh, 8 minus 6.3 is 1.7. So now I want to take the average of those, just add them up and divide by how many I have. And yeah, so don't be afraid that that's a sub 1. It's in this case, it's it's that first term is always what that's going to be. So the notation might, don't be annoyed by it. Just you always get your first term by plugging in the bottom, always get your last term by plugging in the top. Take the average of those. And then do be careful because you want to figure out how many terms there are. And here we're not starting off with a one. So it's very tempting to do that the number of terms is just 10 minus 2 is 8. But count them on your fingers, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our first terms, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, blah, blah, blah. we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So you always have to add that extra 1 at the end. Remember when it was from 1 to 10 and we just said, bam, 10 terms. Well, if we had tried to do 10 minus 1, we would have gotten 9 terms. And it's, so you just have to add that extra one at the end if you're going to do top minus bottom. So the number of terms is always going to be the top minus the bottom plus that extra tricky one. So we've got nine terms here. And then we just punch that in so that we get, what is that? Negative 4.7 plus 1.7 is negative 3 times 9 over 1 is negative 27 over 2. And I like this, but the answer key makes it into decimal. Fine. Doesn't matter. I kind of like the fraction better. 27 halves. And yeah, if that was too fast, number 17 is slower. i uh, walk you through a bit more what it means. But yeah, that's how you do it. Thirteen point five. 